Uh, before we start doing some any more work on Santana 20, what I have to do is get rid of Gumdrop, this wonderful little 13-foot sailboat that I've been using for a couple of years. And in fact, just used it a month ago to go to Key West for Fantasy Fest. Now, the way we're going to dispose of this boat is with my BFF. And let me tell you, you can go to Disney World, you can go to Fantasy Fest, but you'll never have the kind of fun you can have cutting up a viable boat with a sawzall. Okay, we're going to cut it off. We're going to start by cutting the deck off along this line all the way around. Before we do that, I got to get rid of everything that might be in the way, like these bolts and various hardware all the way around. And this this was a little outboard bracket for a, an electric trolling motor. And let's see, we also use that for this little boarding ladder. And that worked out pretty nice, especially when you get old like me and my wife. You need something sturdy and substantial to walk on. And that worked out. And what we're going to do is try to recycle as much stuff off of this boat as possible. Because there's uh, so many bolts and eye bolts and cleats and all kind of stuff. It's all very expensive. So I guess I could sell this boat. But I think just taking the stuff off it will be more valuable to me. And, once again, it is so much fun to destroy a boat. And all honestly, I don't even like boats. So, cutting them up in little pieces is especially a lot of fun for me. And we've cut other boats up. One of them was a 42-foot pacemaker that we cut up into two-foot square sections and threw in the dumpster. Okay, and there's been other boats. Now, a couple of points of interest on this boat. This was rigged as a cat. It had a cat rig with a mast here, then it had this Gary Hoyt boom in there, so we're going to have to cut that in the bottom of the boat and that other tube. I think that's all that's got to be done inside before the deck comes off. Oh, maybe this had an inboard rudder with a tube for that. That's got to be cut off. So once all the hardware is off, the tubes are cut off, then we can go ahead and cut the deck off. Now, talking about cutting up things, this is kind of interesting. This, this, uh, this might get recycled. We might cover the cockpit of the sand pan. Now what we have here appears to be a little cuddy cabin of some sort on this boat. Well, what that was, that is the last foot of a 14 foot O'Day Javelin. And you might be asking, what are you doing with that? Well, when I got this trailer here, I just bought the trailer. The Javelin happened to be on the trailer. And the more I looked at it, I thought, well, maybe I could use that for something. And the thing I wanted to use it for was a trip to Key West. And I wanted to tie up at the dinghy dock. But there's a 13-foot length limit at the dinghy dock. So, to solve that problem, I cut a foot off the javelin. 
Of course, when you cut a foot off the back of a boat, it changes the shape of the boat, the overall boat. So I ended up, once again, with the handy dandy sawzall, I cut some wedge shapes in the bottom of the bow and up the sides a little bit and folded it all up, glass it all back together, put a transom in it. Now I had a pretty nice little 13 foot sailboat. And I did sail it to Key West. Okay, so enough of that. So now what we're going to do is start taking off hardware. But I've been advised not to bore everybody to death. So we'll just stop here and I'll take all the hardware off and we'll come back after a while. And it's about 12.30. We'll see how this goes. Okay, like I was saying, uh, we're going to dismantle this boat. And what we're going to do now is cut the deck off. And... I'm going to do that with my best friend here, the Sawzall, and uh, the blades I like to use are a high quality, coarse metal cutting blade. I found those work about the best. So that's what we're going to do here. And let's see, there isn't much to say about it other than to cut it off. So uh, we'll be back in a few minutes when, it's all, when we get it all cut and then we'll see how we're going to take it off the boat and all of that. I would like to show putting the stick under it once it goes so it can't fall off. Are you, you rolling? Okay, here we go. You know what? I'm going to put on some gloves. I'm going to put the stick under here. Like that. And that way, it won't fall off when I get close to the end. Okay, you can see how easy that was. Nothing to it. What did it take? It took about eight minutes. And my blade's still good, ready to cut up another deck. Okay, now all we got to do is lift the deck off of there. How are we going to do it? I think I might just toss it over the side. Okay, that's it for fun. Until the CAT scan showed that my lungs are still halfway decent after all these years, so I guess it doesn't that bad. Okay.
Now it should go. Okay, something else I forgot. It's uh, that pole down there. Oh, I see. You know what? We're going to take care of that right now. That's aggravated me enough. I think it's the screws. That ball looks big now. Okay. Okay, we got the deck off. The whole point of this, I'm trying to put the Santana where this is, so we've got to get rid of this. We're going to get this out of the way. That's the, that's the idea. Not very hard. <laughs> Okay. 